Guys, my power just went off in between. <laughs> Analyze the question paper and just at that moment, the power went off. The first question we have here is, Guys, let us start. You can hear me, can't you? Hello, everybody. There was a disruption because of my power. There was a power failure. Let us start now. I think you can hear me. You can't hear me properly, I guess. Can you hear me? You can hear me, you can't hear me. Which of the following does Urvashi Butalias? Hello, everybody. There was a disruption. The other side of silence primarily seek to do. Guys, remember, it is very important to look at Indian feminists. Today at 10 p.m. I will be starting. Indian feminists are very important in that. They will ask you questions based on that. So Urvashi Bhutalias, the other side of silence. You will think, Whoa, oh my God, I don't know this. This is difficult, but don't worry. It is not difficult. Uh, look at this, Urvashi Bhutalias, the other side of silence. Read carefully. You will understand this is not difficult. To understand the partition as something more than a political divide, to foreground a personal history of the partition, to foreground the partition as an event more tragic than the Holocaust, certainly that is wrong. This is wrong. To highlight a partition as an even more tragic than the Holocaust is wrong. That she won't do. To find and unite families of the partition. That is also wrong. So it must be A and B. It is an easy question, actually, if you just use your common sense. Urvashi Bhutalia wouldn't write a book to unite families. Certainly that is wrong. Did you understand? To foreground the partition as a very tragic event. That also is stupid. It, it, it won't be correct. To understand partition as something more than a political divide, that is, sounds like correct. Foreground a personal history of the partition, sounds like correct. Did you understand? Uh, so A and B, A and B only. A and B only, that is easy question, okay? Then. Which of these are true about Raymond Williams' culture and society? It critiques the idea of high culture. It is against the idea of high culture. Could be, yes, it is right. Uh, it is 
critiquing the idea of high culture. That is right, because Raymond Williams supports popular culture. It overlooks the idea of high culture. Overlooks is wrong. Overlooks is wrong. It defines culture as a way of life, very famously correct. It equates culture with science. No, 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 no. That couldn't be right. A and C only. Did you understand? This is also easy, actually. If you know anything about Raymond Williams's culture and society, you will know that it is easy. Did you understand? Idea of high culture, it critiques. It is against uh, high culture. Then it defines culture as a way of life. Then uh, these other two are definitely wrong. Can you hear me, guys? Guys, I'm changing my Wi Fi. Give me one minute. Now, which of the can you hear me? Can you hear me? All good? Which of the two poems by, which of the two poems are by Judith Wright? Definitely woman to man is correct. Definitely Judith Wright has written woman to man. That is correct. That is very famous and correct and it is prescribed in universities. Imperial Adam is a famous poem by A.D. Hope prescribed in universities. Imperial Adam is a book by poem by A.D. Hope. Meditation on Bone is also by A.D. Hope. Did you understand? Uh, Woman to Man and Old Prison. Those two are by Judith Wright. You should know C is famous. You should know C is famous. It is by Judith Wright. Oh, got it, guys? Then match the lists. This is kind of easy. Mad Men and Specialists is by Soinka. Mad Men and Specialists is by Soinka Hena. Uh, the Trial of Dedan Kimati, that is also a little famous. Have you heard of it? It is by Ngugi Vationgo. These two are very famous. Mad Men and Specialists is by Soinka. Trial of Dedan Kimati is by Ngugi Vationgo. These two are famous. A2, C4. A2, C4. Only one option is there. A to C4. Did you understand, guys? The C at Dauphin is by Derek Walcott. The C at Dauphin is by Derek Walcott. Uh, Echo in the Bone is by Dennis Scott. Okay, this is not that difficult. Now, who among the following? Next question. Are you, can you see? Who among the following says ideology is a representation of the imaginary relationship of individuals to their real conditions of existence? That is a very, very easy quotation. Everybody should know. It is by Louis Althusser. Louis Althusser, famous definition of ideology. This is easy and famous. Louis Althusser, famous definition of ideology. Uh, a representation of the imaginary relationship of individuals to the real conditions of existence. Don't forget that. Then. Oops. 
Next question, guys. Who among the following is associated with the philosophy of praxis? Guys, Antonio Gramsci's famous phrase it is philosophy of practice. He talked about it in prison notebooks. Philosophy of praxis is a famous phrase from prison notebooks. When you study literary theory, I have told you several times, you have to study the theorists separately. Like an author we study separately, we have to study the theorists separately. Philosophy of praxis is associated, like an author, we have to study, read about them in detail. Then you will understand and know all these things. Which is the book by J.G. Ballard about a virus that freezes anything that it comes in contact with? A virus. Look at this, guys. Drowned world, burning world, crystal world. One is about global warming, crystal. Everything is frozen. It is crystal world. Also remember, in most exams, they ask one question from J.G. Ballard. Several times in previous years, they have asked questions about J.G. Ballard. Make sure you read thoroughly about J.G. Ballard. Okay? They are always ask. Then, what was the center set up for studying culture at the University of Birmingham called? As you know, it is a very easy question. Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies. That is the name of the center at the University of Birmingham. Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies. Very easy question that is. This one is also easy. This is also easy. Robert Browning wrote Stratford. Anna, Robert Browning wrote Stratford. S.T. Coleridge wrote Remorse. Tennyson wrote Queen Mary. Wordsworth wrote Borderers. If you know that, you will know all. Ro Browning wrote Stratford. Then Borderers is by Wordsworth. Remorse is by Coleridge. Second, Mrs. Tanquere is by Pinero. Arthur Wing Pinero. Victorian playwright. Queen Mary is by Tennyson. That is also easy, not difficult. Then, this is a very easy question. Just match the following. Uh, English August is by Upamanyu Chatterjee. English August is by Ubamanyu Chatterjee. In Custody is by Anita Desai. Hena. Then Such a Long Journey is by Ro Rowington Mystery. And Funny Boy is by oh, Always They Ask Funny Boy, remember? Always They Ask Funny Boy, Sham Salvadure. All these books you should know in detail. Then, which are the two words? Uh, so the answer is. Uh, I, I forgot to mark the answer. That, that's okay. I'll mark it later. Which are the two works of Ted Hughes? Definitely everybody knows Lupercal he wrote. He has written Lupercal. Then Wood Woo is about some prehistoric man. The name itself should help you remember. Otherwise, study now. Uh, Wood Woo is also by Ted Hughes. That is also correct. So B and C only. Arrange the following characters in the chronological order. This is easy because you should know this is the latest. Because all the others, this is the oldest. That is also easy. Mahabharata should definitely be the oldest. Samskara should be the latest. So B starting with B, ending with D, only one is there. Mahabharata. This is early 20th century. This is mid 20th century. Did you understand? This is how you should know exact year. If you don't know also, general with general knowledge, we'll be able to answer such questions. Go, go down is early 20th century. Uh, room on the roof is mid 20th century. Pranesh Acharya is definitely latest, 1965. Then, uh, this is 1936, I think. Yes. Uh, room, on, uh, room on the Roof is 1956. Then, 
Arundhati Roy. Again, chronological order. Everybody should know Arundhati Roy's God of Small Things is 1997. Hena? 1997 Booker. And you should know 2006 Booker is uh, Inheritance of Loss. Uh, inheritance of Loss came after namesake, if you remember. This is certainly the first. This is certainly the first of the group. That long silence, when did it win uh, Sahitya Academy Award? 1988. So definitely C is first. Only one option is there like that. C is first. Only one option is there like that. Did you understand? So this, uh, this question is also easy. Now, statement. A pigeon. Remember, pigeon and creole, always they ask questions about it. Pigeon is a language. First, let us think. Pidgin is a language that is formed when a native language interacts with English. When native language and English interact, Pidgin is formed, isn't it? Pidgin later becomes Creole. Creole can become people's mother tongue. That is the theme, theory. Then a Pidgin is formed by two mutually unintelligible speech communities, correct? Trying to communicate using the most obvious features of each other's language. It is correct. Pidgin is formed when two mutually unintelligible speech communities try to communicate using the obvious features of each other's language. That is correct. Now, notwithstanding the number of years a pidgin is spoken, it can never become the mother tongue of a community is absolutely wrong. Easy. Absolutely wrong. Because pidgin becomes Creole. Pidgin becomes Creole. This is wrong. So answer is, what is it? Statement one is correct, but statement two is wrong. Statement one is correct. Statement two is wrong. Did you understand, guys? It is not a difficult question. Then arrange the following terms uh, in the chronological order. Phalagocentrism, Derrida. Locutionary act, that is speech acts, interpolation, Althusser, interpretive community, Stanley Fish. This is definitely the last. Definitely Stanley Fish's theory came last, 1980s. Is there a text in this class? It's in the 1980s. Uh, interpolation came before that. Interpolation and... Uh, First, phalagocentrism, then interpolation. B, B, C, A, D is the answer. B, C, A, D. Dekho, dekho. B first. This is one. Then C. Okay, okay. Interpolation first, then phalagocentrism. Then D, interpretive community. Definitely D is last. How many options are there? D is last. Only one option. Only one option is there with D last. Only one you need to know. All these things you don't have to know. You only have to know interpretive community is the last among these. That you should know. It is easy to remember. Now, according to Ferdinand de Saussure, language is an interlocking structure. What does it mean? It means language is relational. It means language is relational. That means one meaning is dependent on other meanings. Hena? One meaning is dependent on other meanings. That is the meaning of language is relational. A system of constant change. That means diachronic approach, which is wrong. Sasyar did not have it. Sasyar did not advocate diachronic approach. Language is constant change. That approach is diachronic. Sasyar did not have it. Language is a system of signs. That is very famously Sassior's theory. Language is a system of signs is correct. Language is a system of signs is correct. Then a self-standing formation. I don't know what that means. I, I, I think it is it means autonomous. I, I don't know uh, whether the last one, why it is wrong. Anyway, their answer is 
A and C only. I have a doubt about D also, but C is definitely correct. Okay. Uh, I have a doubt about D. Now, who is the creator of the character Huli and Sorel? This is easy because it is Stendhal. Stendhal in the red and the black. Stendhal in the red and the black. Huli and Sorel. Stendhal created the character in the red and the black. That is easy question. Given below are two statements. Uh, language is not a reliable tool of communication, says deconstruction. True. Deconstruction says language is not a reliable tool, but argues in favor of a theory of science. That is wrong. Uh, as a self-sufficient union of signifier and signified, that is wrong. Because deconstruction says there are, deconstruction says there are no, there are only signifiers. No signifieds, na? There are only signifiers, no signifieds. That is what deconstruction says. So this is wrong. Language is a self-sufficient union of signifier and signified is wrong. Then statement two, deconstruction claims that language is non-referential since it refers neither to the things in the world nor to our concepts. Language does not refer to anything because there are no signifieds. That is true. That is correct. Deconstruction believes that language does not refer to anything in the world because language is all about signified signifiers. There are no signifieds. That is correct. Statement two is correct. So the answer is uh, statement one and statement one is incorrect, but statement two is correct. Now, which of the following are examples of Kunstle Roman? Kunstle Roman, all of you know, is Bildung's Roman about an artist. David Copperfield, definitely, because he's a writer. David Copperfield is a writer, portrait of the artist also, writer, sorry, artist, writer. So these two are very famously Kunstle Roman. B and D only, that is correct. Easy question it is, easy. Earlier question was also easy actually. Deconstruction wala question also, easy. Now, this question, let us see. A set of inflected forms taken by a single word. A single word in many forms. Definitely phoneme is wrong. Morpheme is also wrong. We know phoneme and morpheme are not about inflected forms or anything. Is it lexeme or sememe? Lexi means dictionary. In dictionary, we have different forms of words, right? In dictionary, we have different forms of same word. So this must be correct. Lexeme is the answer. Lexeme. It is not tough. It is not tough. It, these are all, many are very easy, obvious questions. You are all uh, worked up in the exam. You're not thinking clearly. That is why. At least 50 questions are easy. I have marked them. This is a common sense question. Lexicology. Lexi means words in dictionary. In dictionary, there are different forms of a word. If you study something here and there, it will look tough. If you study things properly, if you know English language deeply, if you can understand words in the clear sense, then it is not tough. If you keep thinking it is tough, it is because you have not studied properly. Just study. Now, uh, always they ask questions from Waiting for Godo. So you should definitely do detailed study of Waiting for Godo. So many exams they have asked already. The opening and closing lines of Waiting for Godo are spoken by Estragon. Correct. That is very famous. Everybody should know that. It is correct. Statement two is a little confusing. Pozo says... They give birth uh, astride of a grave, famously, and then it is night once more. Haven't you heard that? They give birth astride of a grave. The light gleams an instant, then it is night once more. That is what Pozo says. 
towards the end of the play estragon echoes pozo's statement i didn't know whether it is right but actually that is because it is wrong there is nothing like that there is nothing like that uh then answer is certainly so my hunch was one is definitely correct second might be wrong and my hunch was that and that is the answer statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false 50 questions are very easy you should definitely write like that questions then like uh, 10 or 20 questions 10 questions probably are medium out of 10 definitely 5 you will guess correctly hai na 55 ho gaya na if you study thoroughly many questions are easy i am telling you this then this question easy question this is what is generally taken to be true of cultural studies anybody who knows cultural studies should answer this it is politically engaged absolutely correct absolutely correct it is politically engaged it privileges text over context absolutely wrong it talks about context only it doesn't talk about text uh, over context it talks about context how context defines text it has a some symbiotic relation with formalism i will say what it has nothing that is absurd it's a it's an absurd option it doesn't have anything to do with formalism it studies the means of a production of a text absolutely correct absolutely correct it studies the means of a production of the text correct so it is a and d a and d that is a very easy question next one is also very easy match the following who doesn't know this everybody knows handful of dust evelyn waugh brighton rock graham green howard zend em foster plumed serpent dh lawrence those barren leaves aldous huxley easy that is very easy answer is handful of dust i will type here um then brighton rock graham green then plumed serpents howard zend aldous huxley says those barren leaves mrs aldwinkle remember those barren leaves in an italian palace mrs aldwinkle and her friends that is the story so it that is a very easy question then uh this is also kind of easy charles grant's act was 1813 hai na so he came before that he came before that before 1813 it must be just before then construction of fort william is i have taught many times it is 18th century so definitely that is first construction of fort william is first because it's 18th century all the rest are later then two must be this charles grant because uh the this is the result of charles grant's uh, coming persian you know english became important only after charles grant came english became important only after charles grant came so it must be three and this came much later universities of calcutta bombay madras came much later it was the result of wood's dispatch of 1854 this is easy we have already done all this result of wood's dispatch okay without studying properly please don't say difficult 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 you have to study these things properly this is very easy because uh, it is a very it is not a confusing question fort william 18th century charles grand 1813 act it was so before that he came second early 19th century these two are definitely after charles grand this is the result of charles grand's act 1813 act uh 1813 and then uh, universities were established much later result of wood's dispatch of 1854 then who next question who among the following this is also medium level difficulty only see who among the following posits the tradition of great writers as an inescapable fact listen read carefully you can't escape tradition okay tradition is there you can't escape it okay it takes an ambivalent position of both blessing and curse are this is very easy 
Eliot and F. R. Lewis had a positive view of tradition. Bloom had a negative view of tradition. It is very famous. I have told you this. Negative view of tradition. So it is definitely Harold Bloom. Tradition, you try to avoid. You, 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 you can't escape it. But you try to negotiate with it. Harold Bloom talked about revisionary ratios. That is why he talked about revisionary ratios. Because Harold Bloom's was a negative view of tradition. Uh, uh, T.S. Eliot was a completely positive view of tradition. So was F.R. Leavis. T.S. Eliot and F.R. Leavis had a completely positive view of tradition. Definitely it cannot be them. T.S. Eliot, F.R. Leavis did not have an ambivalent attitude. Only Harold Bloom had. Alan Tate is not even involved. I, uh, he, they have just put his name there. Harold Bloom had a negative view of tradition. So I have taught you that already. Now, uh, statement. This is a little confusing. Uh, look at this. The implied reader shifts attention from the real reading of individual to... I'm not reading it because it's a little confusing. I'm not reading it. I'll just mark the answer. A is correct, but R is not correct. I'm not reading it, okay? Then, this is also just an English language question. This is not even linguistics. It is English language question. If people people who know, who are used to reading, who know general things in English language will be able to answer this. Pro, uh, which of the following is used for spurious words? Spurious means they don't really exist. They don't really exist. Result of inadvertent errors made by people. They are not real words. Definitely proto words and pseudo words are wrong. There are there is nothing called a pseudo words. It is ghost words. It is not a difficult question for people who are, you know, used to reading and uh, those who know about uh, English language words. You should have experience reading. This is an easy question. Mikhail Bakhtin is very important, as everybody knows. I have. So told you thousand times you should look up contents of books you know what are the chapters in this book etc always they ask so discourse in the novel famous chapter in dialogic imagination discourse in the novel and forms of time and uh, the chronotope in the novel is also uh, a chapter that is an easy question you should know Mikhail Bakhtin who coined the term ecofeminism? Famous Francois de Bon, the you born. That is also very famous. Ecofeminism. That is also important. This one is a little tricky because people only know usually that Montaigne wrote of cannibals. It is based on Brazil. Definitely not India. We know that. We should know. He didn't talk about India. Japan, Borneo. Japan also could be wrong. But the, option, the, the confusion is between Borneo and Brazil. Borneo is in Far East. Far East. If you have geographic sense, uh, you know, the Westerners came, went to Brazil first. The Westerners went to America first, New World. So in that sense, this could be the answer. Far East only, after Montaigne only they reached here. After Montaigne's time only they reached Far East. Did you understand? This is actually a general knowledge question. After Montaigne's time, Montaigne is an early writer now. After Montaigne's time only they reached Far East. So it's a general knowledge question. It's not about knowing the essay of cannibals. You don't have to know the essay of cannibals. It is a general knowledge question. Westerners went to New World. Brazil is part of New World. All the rest are Far East. India, Japan, Borneo are all Far East. We know Borneo because of Almayer's folly. Borneo, Borneo jungle, Almayer's folly. Remember? Then, the, in MLA style sheet, the MLA style sheet first um, compiled, first published in. You know, that is also part of like general knowledge. I didn't know it, but we should know it, obviously. 
obviously, because MLA style sheet, anything they will ask. First published, we should have wondered and remembered. This is a very easy question. Everybody should know it is William Hazlitt's account of his meeting, Coleridge and Wordsworth. Easy question. Account of meeting, Coleridge and Wordsworth. William Hazlitt also, always they ask. One essay from William Hazlitt, surely they will ask. Uh, many essays are prescribed in universities. This is also an easy question. Norm Chomsky is who doesn't know? Everybody should know. Syntactic structures and aspects of the theory of syntax. Easy. These two are very easy. Syn uh, A and D only. Hannah, correct. <laughs> who, who wrote the short story, The Voter? If you look up internet, Chinua Achibi short stories, water will come first and foremost. And I think they already asked this once in another exam recently. In K set or some uh, set, they asked this question about water already recently. So anybody who has followed those questions will know. I have also discussed it online. Water is by Chinua Achibi. If you did not follow, it is not anybody's fault. This is easy question because all Chinua Achibi's short stories, if you check online, first water will come. Secondly, already they asked in, a, in one set recently, few months ago. Then character in Hamlet, easy, marcellus. Everybody should know this. This is the easiest, uh, easiest um, quotation in Hamlet. This is the most famous quotation in Hamlet. Whoever is saying very difficult did not study clearly. If you say very difficult, it only means you did not study. You did not study. I will not say all questions are difficult. Some questions are definitely difficult. Uh, but all questions are not difficult. Uh, everybody is down with COVID. That is probably why they're not responding to your message. Uh, my staff are all down with COVID and the office is closed. Right. Only from yesterday, we have pending for one, from one week. Okay. And I, I'm always teaching and I'm busy. That is why. Uh, then, who wrote The Labyrinth of Solitude? That is also very famous. Octavio Pass, uh, he was associated with India also. They have already asked about him. Labyrinth of Solitude, uh, fa most famous book by Octavio Pass. In my Latin American lectures, I talk about it. In my Latin American lectures, I talk about Octavio Pass. Then, which of the following statements best articulates Franz Fanon's political position? This is also an easy question. I have taught this and anybody who knows Franz Fanon should know. He criticized the African bourgeoisie. The African bourgeoisie or the African middle class is not like the Western middle class. The Western middle class was able to uh, start a revolution, but African bourgeoisie will not be able to, that is a very major argument by Franz Fanon. African bourgeoisie, he criticized. So this is not difficult. Then what is the dramatic legacy of Ben Johnson? Physiological interpretation of character and personality did not have any precedent is wrong because there were medieval precedents. He actually based his theory of humors on earlier medieval precedents taking after the practice of moralities and interludes. Like in moralities and interludes, Johnson's characters are named after, you don't have to tell them, just wait, they will add you. You don't have to do anything, just wait. You don't have to keep messaging me or them, they will automatically add you. Now, uh, if you have joined, uh, we know your number. Uh, that is, if you paid from the same number in your WhatsApp, did you pay from the same number in your WhatsApp? If you use different, different numbers, then it is difficult. Then, uh, following the practice of moralities and interludes, Johnson named his dramatic person appropriately. Ja that is very clearly true. Cut beard, morose, you know, these are, uh, these are very famous. More, uh, conventions from morality plays. Then Chapman's All Fools and Middleton's A Trick to Catch the Old One belong to the genre of comedy of humors. I did not know whether it is correct. 
then Marston and Decker collaborate. Definitely wrong because they are enemies. They only collaborated in uh, Eastward Ho, as I have, as we know, as I've told you several times. They only collaborated in Eastward Ho. So two are clearly wrong. There are two clearly wrong. It must be B and C. It must be B and C. Next question is very easy because we know. Songwriters. Who doesn't know? Rabindranath Tagore is a songwriter. Rabindra Sangeet and Bob Dylan. Who doesn't know? Songwriters who have been awarded Nobel Prize. Easy. Rabindranath Tagore and Bob Dylan. Okay, that is very easy. Just general knowledge question. Even students from school will answer. Then... This is also a simple question. Anniversary is John Dunn. Anniversary is John Dunn. Temple is by George Herbert. Then uh, rehearsal transposed is by. All this is a very well detailed in our encyclopedia. Pindari codes is by Abraham Cowley. All are very important and very easy. No, no doubt at all about it. Now, um, this already they have asked. This question they have asked. Horace Walpole was the answer. This is a PYQ. Who condemned the transportation of 50,000 slaves? Horace Walpole it was. But then who along with Horace Walpole? Only options are, is it Horace Walpole and Pope? Or Horace Walpole and Johnson. Definitely, uh, we, we should know how Pope is wrong. Pope did not talk about such things. You know? It must be Johnson. A ah, very lengthy paper, that is true. You need time to understand. But if you are a clear mind, then without getting stressed, you should listen. Then you will be able to answer. It is A and C. A and C. The life of Cowley. It is, it should be actually easy, but it is a little confusing, this one. Uh, they neither copied nature or life. That is very important and it is correct. It is correct. Uh, C plus A or B. That is my confusion. C plus A or B. Answer given is uh, B and C only. So it must, it is, instead of writing poetry, they wrote only verses. That is the answer. Then, in the function of criticism at the present time, very easy, everybody knows it is disinterestedness. Function of criticism at the present time, disinterestedness. Uh, in his recasting the canon of English poetry, this is also a little difficult. If only you study in depth, you will know. Milton and Shelley, he downgraded. Uh, edit, arrange the following in the chronological sequence. It is not difficult because egotistical sublime is Keats. Uh, then unreliable narrator Wayne C. Booth. That is latest. Latest, obviously. Wayne C. Booth came latest. Keats came first. So D first, B last. If you know that, only one option is there. D first, B last. Theater of Cruelty is Antonin Artaud. It was uh, early 20th century. Dissociation of Sensibility, Eliot. And Wayne C. Booth is associated with neo Aristotelians. They came last, 1950s or 60s. So that is easy. Uh, which of the following abbreviations refers to a documentation style? Definitely, Ariel is wrong. Definitely, PMLA is wrong. It is MLA handbooks, periodical. MFS, MHRA. MHRA is uh, Modern Humanities Research Association. Modern human. What are the four documentation styles? MLA, APA, Harvard or Chicago, and MHRA. Which of the following are novels by David Lodge? 
for me it is easy because i we have done it in encyclopedia this is british museum is falling down changing places nice work empire of the sun is by ballard jg ballard for people who study encyclopedia it is easy a c d then which of the following is true of mass media it usually has a central single source think of new york times new think of uh, tv television channels think of um, you know mass media like that central single source it can affect a lot this is definitely wrong it can affect only a localized population definitely wrong it has multiple sources audience is in close proximity to source that is also definitely wrong these two are definitely wrong is it multiple sources or single source it has usually a central single source is the answer mass media mass audience but single source the otherness of english uh aunties indian uh, india's anti tongue syndrome is by prabal das gupta i didn't know that which of the following did this is easy question even though this name will confuse you there is nothing here easy question ngugi vaatiyanga what did he object to did he object to the primacy of english literatures and cultures yes he ob did object to primacy of english literatures and cultures Uh, decolonizing the minds did you object to centrality of africa in the department of english wrong that is wrong africa is not central primacy of orator in the syllabus wrong there is no orator in the syllabus that is also wrong african oral traditions are not there in the syllabus focus on the study of historical continuity of english literature probably correct so if two are definitely wrong then you know the answer definitely wrong and one is definitely correct so it is not that difficult you can answer easily answer is um, a and d only a and d only then arrange the following groups of poets in their chronological sequence very very easy hai na very easy hai na first cavalier poets 17th century then lake poets then imagist poets then movement poets easy so it is b d a c b d a c isn't that easy it is easy who is the author of typology of detective fiction i did not know that it is svetan todorov okay learned it now now this is not difficult everybody should know this homi baba location of culture homi baba everybody should know this uh, notes towards definition of culture is famously eliot that is the foundation of cultural studies image music text is famously roland barth then this must be john fisk hai na so that is also easy a2 B three, C four, D one. Ayo, this is also school level question. You have missed the mystery lectures. Means you have missed the history lectures. It is spoonerism. Spoonerism. You have missed the history lectures. Instead of that, you have missed the mystery lectures. In school days, I knew that. Which of the following terms describes a novel of fashionable high life? Silver fork. Benjamin Disraeli is what uh, William Hazlitt coined the term fashionable upper class life only Benjamin Disraeli wrote about that is uh, silver fork guys it is all about knowing basic things correctly if you know basic things correctly which of course takes time uh, it took me several decades in fact then you will be able to answer all these things very very easily. only some questions are very difficult some most questions are actually not that difficult iir richards if they ask books by iir iir richards you can't blame them this is very very famous writer science and poetry definitely by iir richards 
that uh, everybody should know philosophy and rhetoric also books by major canonical theorists and critics they always ask so b and c then uh, which of these sums up the preoccupation of most of vijay tendulkar's plays if you know three four plays you will know it is all about power media crime love triangle definitely wrong definitely wrong crime media it's not there in every book definitely workings of power easy ana then lahore and agra you know lahore and agra michael is talking about future greatnesses of mankind future achievements of mankind mankind will suffer he starts talking about cain's story mankind will do wrong mankind will suffer but at the same time great achievements will also be there it is all discussed in book 11 book 11 if when you guess if you know what now this is the trick if you know what is there in book 3 book 4 book 6 you know then you will know it cannot be in any of these books book 3 is about satan and god satan is going to eden and god is worried why would agra and lahore be mentioned there did you understand book 4 is about satan entering eden why would agra and lahore be mentioned there agra and lahore are mentioned by michael when he talks about the future of mankind obviously so if you have a common sense uh, presence of mind probably you will be able to guess who wrote a postmodern reworking of charles dickens says great expectations without even altering the title great expectations is the most adapted work by charles dickens adaptations of great expectations important then this is also a slightly tough question uh, marvel's horatian ode this is what eliot said about it a tough reasonableness that is correct i checked all that this is easy poetry is imitation of an imitation said plato everybody knows now plato said it then which of these ayyo so silly so silly basanio uh, sorry uh, samuel beckett's waiting for the obviously estragon and pozo they it can't be easier then arrange chronologically the following text this is also not difficult Fa see options are so simple fairy queen obviously must be the first this is like ba level question uh, fairy queen definitely must be the first ba lyrical ballad second obviously charles bodelay late 19th century third pablo neruda 20th century fourth easy a b d c you don't need any knowledge for that it's easy this we have done thousand times we have done so many times discussion of these books three books i have to uh, talked about i i think all four i have talked about lie of the land is famously by rajeshwari sundar rajan and masks of congress by gauri vishwanathan so a2 b3 only one option is there like that a2 b3 only one option is there if you know two you will be able to answer what term did bertolt brecht b a level question epic theater who doesn't know bertolt brecht talked about epic theater everybody knows then um, which of the following are the earliest colonial publishing initiatives that is not easy i didn't know that either b and c b and c then uh which pair of linguists is associated with speech acts so easy austin and john searle jl austin and john searle everybody should know that easy this is also general knowledge question vlad the impaler is count dracula children also will know vlad the impaler is crown, count dracula it is not about uh, knowledge of post graduates now all research be this is also easy 
all research being original and uninspired wrong all research is uninspired it seems how dare they say that <laughs> studying and documenting past works stifles the expansion of knowledge wrong utter nonsense both these sentences these sentences are absolutely wrong so it is both are incorrect then easy easy road not taken robert frost today i write the saddest lines pablo neruda i hear america singing walt whitman i too sing america langston hughes who doesn't know everybody knows that some questions you got scared of i think that is why you're saying it is difficult difficult now which of the following statements are true uh, about english usage in india india is counted among the largest english speaking communities in the world definitely correct definitely yes no group community or population of indians claims english as their mother tongue wrong nagaland nagaland is there everybody knows that na more than 50% of indians speak english fluently <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> this is utter nonsense <laughs> 50% speaks english it seems <laughs> 90% doesn't speak english india english is the uh, country's principal language of commerce correct we do trade and commerce between sorry correct between our states we do it in english simple correct so a and d only ha na all these are like general knowledge questions we don't need english literature post graduates to answer this now uh, i already knew that dhvanya loka is in mysore cd narasimhaya sir dhvanya loka cd narasimhaya remember the man who wrote two important books on english in india he established dhvanya loka i knew that and bhandarkar is maharashtrian so i knew pune <laughs> bhandarkar is easy to guess so i i got the answer like this konemara is in chennai and uh, asiatic society is in kolkata i think that is famous asiatic society is in kolkata is famous so answer is uh a to b3 c4 d1 which of the following cycles narrative cycles which of these has he talked about it is 1001 uh, nights or arabian nights arabian nights what's an author is a often prescribed book this you should study carefully citations b and c are the answer b and c are the answer this is wrong translated by no you have to read mla citations properly you, online you will get sample who in world as india argued that that is it, that is susan sontag many times they asked about susan sontag already arranged the journals now listen bentley's miscellany miscellany associated with dickens blackwoods associated with romantics and keats conhill thackeray long mans must be later so it is easy first c then d then b then a it must be first this of course then b sorry uh, dickens then thackeray established it then it this must be last long mans is not an early work early this so it is c d b a c d b a sorry c d b a next one everybody knows easy it is of course homophones same pronunciation mean same sound homophone mean same sound same sound different meanings homophone hai na then which two of the following are fallacious evaluations of poetry famous easy personal fallacy historical fallacy personal fallacy historical fallacy matthew arnold was against personal fallacy and historical fallacy famous then 
this is also general knowledge question. You don't need an English MA student to answer this. Anybody who knows English language will know that infant baby coos. Infant baby coos. Ba newborn babies. Newborn babies, their sound is cooing. Babbling is saying something in, that is old uh, infants. Newborn baby is cool. Babbling is infants. You know, they, they don't know what they are saying. Holophrastic telegraphic speech, you don't have to know. If you know these two, you can answer. DB, it begins. DBAC. Correct. It's easy. Then, which of these was the, this question was there in the C, um, other option also? It is infantilization. With some guessing, you can understand. You know, um, imperialist ideology is propagated by infantilizing everything. Make, like children, they become, they, they turn. I have studied taming of the shrew, so I know it. I have translated it also. Taming of the shrew is begun with a drunken man, Christopher Sly, pretending. He is pretending to be a noble man. That is the beginning of taming of the shrew. Drunken man Christopher Sly pretends to be a noble man. And he is a foil character to, for Petruchio. Petruchio is the man who tames the shrew. That is taming of the shrew. So I have studied it, so I knew it. Which of the following is a dead language? Definitely wrong Cantonese because people still speak Cantonese in China. Yiddish also definitely wrong. Jewish people still speak Yiddish. Is it Gothic or Frisian? Do people speak Gothic language? We never heard. So it must be correct. Gothic is the answer. Then this is very easy. This is easy because advancement of learning is Francis Bacon. Past and present is Carlyle. Who doesn't know? That is easy. Past and present is Carlyle. Advancement of learning is Bacon. Illness as metaphor is Susan Sontag. Deco, Susan Sontag, so many times they're asking. We should study in detail. Emerson wrote English traits that I didn't know. But that doesn't matter. So options are A2, B3, C4, B1. Then... Which of these departments did the English? This is actually many questions look like confusing. But if you use common sense, they are not confusing. Woods Dispatch recommended setting up of which department? Definitely not French. Definitely they will not ask for French department to be set up. And there are three options. Three options each. So it must be the others. Even we don't know. English will be there. Correct. Whether it is Arabic and law, we don't know. But definitely French is wrong. So, A, B, D. They are enemies are French, na? A, B, D. Which of the following movements is associated? Very easy question. He is a major symbolist who pioneered modernism. All modernists are inspired by Baudelaire. Symbolist and modernist, Charles Baudelaire. B, C. Then, uh, cultural intermediaries. I have taught you this also. Who are cultural intermediaries? People who are in between the producers and consumers. People, people who are in between the producers and consumers. So, director and producer will not be there. Both director and producer are producers. Did you understand? So, it must be AC. Then, this is a little difficult, but among school children is later poem. You should know. Among school children was written when he was 60 years old. Later poem it is. This is earlier poem. You should know. While uh, Swans at Cool is an earlier poem. Uh, after, in between will come second coming. So now it is clear. Only one option is there with C last. Second coming last is only one option. Now, 
Which of these may be said to be true of the journal published from Bowling Green University? Remember, Bowling Green is the place where uh, popular culture began to be taught for the first time. Looks like difficult, but it is not difficult. It sought to highlight the importance of popular culture. Correct. Correct. Bowling Green University is where popular culture was first taught as a degree course. It highlighted popular culture. Correct. It sought to highlight the importance of elite culture. Absolutely wrong. It highlighted uh, elite culture is absolutely wrong. It sought to buttress the canon. Buttress means for uh, strengthen the canon. Wrong. Wrong. No, nobody associated with popular culture will do that. It sought to break down the dominant culture. Correct. Easy. It is not a confusing question. So it is A and D. Sorry. A and D only it is. It is not a confusing question. Then, uh, sorry. Then, who is the author of Radiant Textuality? I did not know that. It is Jerome McGann. I did not know that. Last question is easy. They have already asked this. Revatis, the truth about me, a Hijra life story. It is a PYQ. They have already asked this. So that is easy. So these are the questions in the afternoon shift. I did not find any mistake in the questions or answers. Uh, I'm happy that actually there were so many good questions also and uh, good directions to study. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 questions I have marked easy. 50 questions I have marked easy. In the first paper uh, morning shift, there were 55 questions marked easy. That is the only difference. You know, it is the sign of a loser to say, you know, question, paper is difficult, paper is difficult. Winners will say, I will study more next time. I did not study enough. I will study more in this manner. That is what winners will say. I deal with winners. You are all winners. Don't be losers. I'm speaking very strictly. I don't want to please you and just think, make you think, wow, ma'am is so good. Don't say all that. Just pass. I don't want to be remembered as a very sweet teacher or anything. I am doing military training here. I teach so that people will become excellent professionals. No shortcuts, no uh, unnecessary you know, trouble, everything straightforward. You learn the right way. I am very happy that the question paper is based on real knowledge. If you know real, no, if you have real knowledge only, you will be able to pass. If, if that is not how the exam is, the whole country will get destroyed. You know, so study properly, study everything thoroughly. I am there with you if you want to study thoroughly. If you want shortcuts, don't come to me. I don't know shortcuts. Did you understand? So I deal only with people who are going to be winners. I deal with people who are going to be excellent professionals. I deal with people who will not need me eventually. Only to start, you should need me. After that, you should be independent, strong, powerful scholars who will inspire other people. I don't want to be here inspiring you all the time. Do you understand? So I am a very strict teacher who will teach the right things the right way. As far as I know, I am a very good student. I will learn along with you. That is all I will do. I don't want to please you. I don't want to pamper you. If you are doing wrong, if you're going the wrong way, I will bring you back by force. <laughs> like uh, Robert Frost says in Home Burial. Did you understand? I will scold you. I will bring you back by force. I don't want to, I don't want my students to think wrong things. 
difficult exam difficult exam don't think don't feel self pity don't feel like a victim you are not a victim did you understand you are a warrior you should fight and win in the positive way if you keep on blaming nta or somebody you are only going to have a failed career don't do it it is not the right approach okay nta also made of human beings sometimes mistakes they will make but majority of questions are excellent questions it will only help us increase our knowledge and become better and better scholars i am grateful to nta did you understand don't make fun of them don't blame them uh, only study the right way a lot of time is lost still if you are not doing a complete course properly and studying everything properly it will be very difficult again again exam will be difficult for you you know exam is easy for people who study i know that for sure i am convinced of it i am convinced of it exam is easy for people who have general knowledge and who study so thank you very much i have another class at 1 pm in an academy so see you at 10 o'clock tonight i am starting a five day crash course on indian literature indian feminism and dalit literature all these topics we will cover indian literature indian feminism please take all the free courses seriously and attend it i do a lot of free courses of excellent quality very few people attend it <laughs> i don't care i don't mind if you want me i am there but it is better you make use of these free courses study properly and pass did you understand so see you at 10 o'clock i don't know cut off and edit or anything i don't want to speculate also cut off is a purely statistical thing when they decide the cut off it depends on the statistical percentile hai na so there is no point in um, speculating on cut off i don't want to do it i don't know okay so thank you very much bye bye see you at 10 o'clock if you need me i am there and if you need me that should mean that you are ready to study thoroughly you are not going to take some shortcut and somehow pass and you know not like that i, I don't deal with people like that straight forward hard work and it is going to be easy next time if it was difficult this time it is going to be difficult easy next time promise bye see you love you god bless you